I am from Colombia. Uh, I came to the US seven years ago. This is actually my second time in college. I have a bachelor's in business from Colombia. To start university again was challenging, very scary. Like financially, how do you pay? Computer science is a degree that is very demanding. So just thinking of like working to pay all my bills and like going to school at the same time, it seemed impossible to me. I didn't know how the education system worked back then, and I ended up at Edmonds Community College. When I was looking for universities to transfer to, either Bothell was my number one. It was a really welcoming campus. The first days, I never felt like out of place. Maybe two weeks in, I received an email from them, from the college, encouraging me to apply to the Avonat STEM scholarship because of my background and my GPA. I thought just really brilliant people will get scholarships and not like someone normal like me. <laughs> it, it changed my life. Things became easier. I really was able to just focus in my classes. All my efforts, all the work uh, I did was going towards my studies. We can move, we just move. The Besides the financial help, I received a connection with a mentor from Avonad. Having her has been a blessing in my life. My mentor helped me a lot to feel like I had a, a, a place in the computer science world. I'm super grateful and honored to receive this scholarship because I really, really appreciate that they are really trying to support more uh, you know, women in, in STEM especially underrepresented women in STEM. These are people who may have brilliant ideas to bring to the table, and just because there's not enough support or representation, they don't feel like they have a place in this industry. The feeling at the other bottle feels more like supportive and really pushing towards equity in STEM. The people who helped me really made a difference in my life, and I cannot imagine me being here without their support. Here, we can start pushing things okay. like this. The smaller will still fit in here. Oh yeah, you're right. Would this matter then? Because okay, so then you put the... Ryan and I have known each other ever since Edmonds Community College, and we transferred together to either Bothell. Fun fact, we didn't like each other in the beginning, <laughs> but now, uh, I think the struggle in the class brought us together and we became really good friends. Or do you want to do a two-pointer? We have one pointer on the boxes, one pointer on the next available. Angela and I go way back. We met in the first Java class at Edmonds Community College. Me and Angela just became, you know, best friends. I didn't know computer science was actually my path until I started Edmonds. Turns out I really enjoyed it. And so I was like, you know what? I'll take the next one, the next one, the next one. And here I am almost four years later. I really like how we're able to do so much with quite literally nothing. It was really cool. Just with a laptop, I can really create something that's either gonna be fantastic, it's gonna change the world, or we're seeing something that's fun too, like games or whatever. I thought it was a great opportunity for students to work with professionals and see how professionals really got the job done. For students breaking into any industry, internships, job experience becomes really important. Before the covid -WA website, if you wanted to get a vaccine booked, uh, you had to check a lot of different sites and you had to check manually if they had a vaccine available. And then this would be really cumbersome, take you easily, you know, half hour, 45 minutes, an hour, and even more if you're not as comfortable with the technology, especially for the senior citizens who at the time were initially eligible. And so a group of awesome people 
Organized COVID Wall, which is a website which takes all the data and it congregates it into a list. So you can actually just scroll down the list and see what places have vaccines available to really help speed up the process. The project was appealing to me because I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse. I can't go out to the hospitals, I can't help patients. But there's something that I can do and that's maybe help some citizens get vaccines. I got to meet directly with Ryan. I interviewed him personally, knew he had the right skill set for us, and he had such an enthusiasm for the project. I knew UW Bothell students would be a great fit for the project, first of all, because UW Bothell students, in my mind, are very committed, are very career oriented. You have students that really want to make something happen. The impact that I think I had through COVID Wa, it's just starting to actually dawn on me. To me, it's just been code. Initially, it was just code. It was just something simple I could do. And then I started to realize like, this is actually something that's impacting human people in real life. And this is a huge gap, basically, that I just crossed between the digital code world and the real physical world and the impact that I potentially had. Okay, so let's check this out. Okay, good job. Nice job. Okay. I loved my time at Edo of Bothell. The people I met here are going to be friends for life. I am really excited for all the new opportunities arriving in my life. In Avonar, I want to become a mentor and to be a mentor of a student just like I had it. I want to give back to the community, I want to help others, and I want to mentor others. I don't know what the future holds, but I do know that I'm gonna continue trying to actually give back, make an impact. The possibilities are really endless.